Welcome back, everyone. I didn't do it. I didn't shoot him. Come on now. You gotta believe me. Surely. Surely you believe me. I was on stage for that third set. So how could I not? How could I have possibly been the one who did it? I don't even know. It's impossible, man. Her manager, sure. But Mr. Latus was... Oh, right. Sorry. An Interpol agent, wasn't he? I just have trouble picturing that big lunk as an undercover cop, you dig. I mean, I can, I can imagine it. I mean, you... You seem to be a little bit in denial right now, so, I mean, who do I know, right? And not a very good one, seeing as how he got wasted. <laughs> That's cold, dog. Not that it matters either way. See, I had no reason to kill the man, whatever he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a reason? Easy. I got no motive, man. But that's the same for Maki. No motive was proven for him. Come on, he traveled around the world with that old fart. He had plenty of time to come with a motive of his own. Ugh. More than I sure did. I mean, think about it. This was that diva's first trip to this country, right? Darian, you're a detective with international affairs. Yeah, what if it? Even if this was Mr. Latus's first trip to this country, you still could have met him prior to the concert. Huh. Or don't you take any international trips and international affairs? That's right. Well, Detective Crescent. <laughs> That's your game, is it? Guess I'd better confess. Confess? Yeah, it's a bit of an embarrassment. But I've never been sent overseas. What? But you're in an international... See, me and Plane's got a difference of opinion. We don't like each other much. My condolence is hair forehead, but he's telling the truth. He's never set foot outside this country, I can guarantee it. As it turns out, my division has plenty of work to do locally as well. That's... so unfair. I know, right? How could I possibly know her manager? So you didn't... Fraterner, fratern, fraternize with him at all during the concert? Fraternize? Ha! Huh. I don't think we exchanged a single word. As if anyone would want to talk to that old Eastern blockhead. Now, now the ladies, that's all. That's a different matter altogether. So you see. If I didn't know him, why would I want to kill him? You sure about that? What? What? Wipe that look off your face before I do it for you. Listen, try throwing out one of your wild accusations. I'll throw it back at you so hard you'll forget who you're accusing of what. Hell, forehead. Perhaps it's best if you let... Your evidence through the talking, yeah. Ha 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 ha! Man, what evidence? That's what I want to know. So he's using this motive question as ammunition, huh? Well, I've got ammunition too! Evidence! What evidence? What the heck is your evidence, man? <laughs> evidence, evidence, evidence. There could be so much evidence, and I don't know what the evidence is. What is it? <laughs> Why would I even want to kill that manager? Hmm. One reason easy, I got no motive, man. Mm, the keys, perhaps? Found the victim's left hand, holds a key to a guitar case and motorcycle. But what about the third key, though? Seriously, what actually is the third key? I do I do kind of wonder about that, actually. But there's no, there's no proof to that, is there? I mean, is it on the back of the keys and I just never looked, perhaps? I mean, it doesn't look like it. Keys, where are you? What are you, man? This doesn't say it's a guitar, this doesn't say, well, I mean, that's obviously the guitar key, but this doesn't say this is a motorcycle, and this doesn't say this is anything else. I mean, what? What is it? Found in the victim's left hand holds a key to a guitar case and a motorcycle. Why does it not say what the third key is for? That's that's what bothers me now. It's like, no, I don't, don't want to talk about the third key, please, now. Huh. I mean, that could be a motive for some reason. I don't know why it would be, but you never know. You never know. Or it could be. Or it could just not be. This could be bait again. The crime scene was Lambert's dressing room. Patrick Jack went over details. Same reporting of Lambert's performance. The volley signals. All Cosby staff wore one. Well, I mean, could, could we prove whose headset this was? I mean, was this your headset, Darian, perhaps? I do kind of wonder about that. Well, let's see real quick. Come on, why would I want to kill that man? Okay, now what I wanted to do... Okay, slow down. I want to kill that man... You want a reason I got no motive? This was that diva's first tire trip to the country, right? How could I possibly know her manager? 
If I didn't know him, why would I want to kill him? Hmm. Huh. Huh, <laughs> he's so... He's just laughing at everything now. Let's see, he laughs at that one. And then he's unsure... He looks... He looks unsure right there. I don't know. Again, I mean, I'm just going off looks here. I mean, I'm not really sure which one is clear. Maybe this one's clear, but... At the same time, though, he's also giving a look, too. So maybe I should be worried about that? So the replica, replica of a cocoon from which a remedy for incuritis may be extracted. Would he, would he... Did he know anything about that? That's what I want to know. Is that No, I mean, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Article about the Chief Justice's son who was inflicted with incuritis. That doesn't say anything about Darien now. Or does it? Found at the crime scene bearing a gun rather than possibly a firecracker. I mean, that's what we, so we all kind of know already. Or do we? Maybe we don't really know that. Can we just get this scan for fingerprints or something? I mean, you know, you never know. Could happen. So, the headset, no, that, that wouldn't prove anything, actually. I mean, it would probably prove that he was backstage for no reason. Just dropped it there for no reason at all. Good job, Darian, you did well. But what, the keys? I really want to say the keys, actually. But... Also the replica, too. I really, yeah, I'm gonna say the keys, actually, so let's see. But for what, though? What do I do? Why would I even want to kill that manager? On reason easy, I got no motive, man. I didn't want to know him, why would I want to kill him? I kind of want to actually press everything again, too, just to see if, like, maybe something comes up, because, you know, that does happen. It does happen! You just never know sometimes, but... Right there, that's not what I'm gonna do. I mean, sometimes it happens, but has it happened in this game yet? I don't know if it has. I mean, it has been some things where the testimony changed a little bit, I guess, but I don't think it's ever been, like, oh, it turned into something decisive randomly for no reason. I mean, you never know. Wait, how many did I do? Did I only... I thought I did... Okay, I'm confused, actually. Hold on a second. I gotta start from the beginning again, everyone. I'm sorry. It's only gonna take a few extra seconds here. Hey, don't you ha-ha-ha-ha me. That's gonna... That's gonna create a seizure warning now. You don't want to create one of those. I feel like I might have skipped over something randomly because I was pressing the B button stupidly. I was doing the wrong things! How dare I do that? Alright, Darian, come on! You can confess. I don't actually remember going through that one, so maybe... Maybe! Maybe that was the one I skipped over. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah, I think I saw that one just now, and then he went to the laughing, so... Yep, I must have skipped over that really long one, then. And then nothing to say about this. Gotcha, man! I gotcha! No, I don't really gotcha. Kinda sucks I can't use the bracelet right now. If I could just use the bracelet, I could just look for something in his in his face to like what is he doing? So you gotta be doing something, right? So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for this one. I'm gonna go for the key ring. Objection! It's not the answer! No! The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Dot dot dot. I'm sorry, but I can see nothing faulty. Unfortunately, I will have to penalize you, Mr. Justice. Ah, I must be on the wrong track. Well, regardless, what do you guys think it is? I always ask these questions when I get stuck right now, but I'm still curious. I mean, what do you what do you know, or what do you know? Do you know anything about these answers? Of course, and no, probably not. Was that dude's first time in this country, right? Hmm. Could I prove that wrong, perhaps? I wonder if I could. I don't know how I would be able to, but I don't know. I don't really know, actually. Hmm. Let's see. The Brooch, no. Investigation request, no. I, I think no, anyway. Let's see. Let's speak to no one. Okay, gotcha. Anyway. Yeah, so that is a no confirm, then. This would be... Well, this wouldn't tell us how long he's been in the country for, so... I don't know, everyone. I don't know. You just never know. It could be the answer. It could not be. Doesn't mention the lyrics of. Okay. Ah. It just doesn't make any sense, man. How the heck am I supposed to know these things? So that's not right either. I think. And that's obviously not showing anything either. Or is it? I don't know. I just don't know. But then again, the Chief Justice's son. Huh, I don't know. I mean, maybe that could be some kind of proof. So then, either way, I'm gonna go towards... If I didn't know him, why would I want to kill him? How could I possibly know our manager? Hmm... 
da 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 I don't know, is the possibility that this is something just completely went a little bit crazy? How would you know? How would you know? Is there a way that you could know that I'm not understanding here? The replica? No, that's how you would know the manager. If I didn't know him, why would I want to kill him? Okay, so I'm gonna present... The... Should I just present the keyring again? Objection! Nope! <laughs> I'm gonna lose. I want to lose. <coughs> ah! I'm tired of these guilty birds, everyone. I'm just tired and I didn't do that. So, come on. What do I even want to kill him? Why would you want to kill him? Well, you want a reason? He's like, I got no motive, man. This is, this is, how could I possibly know her manager? Hmm. Because of the replica? Maybe because of the replica. I'm just, I'm just thinking here. No, I don't know, man. Replica! Objection! It is the answer! <laughs> Your Honor, take a look at this. What's that? Hmm. Looks like candy. Or, it's not. Don't lick it, please. Detective Crescent, ever seen this? Looks like a piece of candy. What it is, is evidence. Don't look it before you try it. Dot 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 dot. Specifically, this is a replica of a cocoon. It was found among the victim's belongings. Hey, cocoon. Never seen one that color. It is a variety only found in the Republic of Borginia. Nowhere else. Alright. Well, what is this cocoon replica doing in my courtroom? Surely this has nothing to do with a motive for killing Mr. Latus, does it? It does! Wait! I mean, I think it does. Okay. You don't sound so confident, man. Hey, Cocoon! Is it one of those silky cocoons? The kind that you can make, well, silk out of? Not this one. This cocoon makes a powerful curative! Hey, curative! For what? Apparently, it is most officious, officious at treating a disease thought incurable. It is the only, no, only medicine of its kind. However, it is illegal to take one of these healing cocoons at a Borginia. Whatever for? If it's such a miracle cure, why not share it with the world? Yeah, that's what I've been wondering! We looked into the matter at some length. Apparently, it isn't difficult at all to manufacture the remedy for the, from the cocoon. Yet, if you change the process only slightly, you can easily make a large quantity of something else entirely. A deadly poison, in fact. What? There was an incident several years ago where some of these got out onto the black market. It caused quite a commotion in the global community, though the media was kept largely unaware. Hmm. Intriguing! All this has led to the strict ban on the cocoon's export. One rigidly enforced by Interpol among others. Interpol! Right! The victim, Romine Latouse, was an Interpol agent. The technical said you insist on referring to him as a manager, but that is misleading. Romine Latouse wasn't killed as a manager, he was killed as an undercover agent. Dot 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 dot. So he's trying to smuggle this dumb ball into the country? That what you're trying to say? I'm saying that could well be a motive for murder. Oh, so I was going to sell it on the black market and make myself a pretty penny. Ridiculous. I mean, totally unthinkable. Unthinkable, you say? Why? Perhaps it's time for another testimony. How about this smuggling of cocoons business? And, well, okay, sure, anyway. Witness testimony, cocoon smuggling. The fact that he's testifying means that he knows something. I mean, jeez. National Affairs got a memo about these cocoons. And it all hot and bothered about him. Can't sell them on the black market. Too dangerous. Yeah, cocoon smuggling ain't exactly lucrative anymore. Man, I'm in the International Affairs. I know the deal. Oh, do you know? Indeed. Interpol wanted these cocoons bad enough... That to send Mr. Latus undercover. The kids think of the craziest things. But no way am I going to risk life and limb. Just to get my hands on some dirty cocoon money. Not the most noble of statements, but dully noted. According to reports, these cocoons top Interpol's list. Selling them to an underground organization would be risky. Hmm. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. This is the only motive I've got. 
He was up to something. And I'm going to find out what. You know, that's the thing, though. Why don't they just destroy them all? I mean, I mean, even having them in country is kind of a... It's kind of dangerous because, I mean, you could just make a poison out of it in the country then. I mean, eh. Sure, why not, man? And only only people in this country can be cured of incuritis, of course. Jeez. Why just send them to the doctors then? I mean, you don't have to smuggle them out. Just send them to the doctors and graves. My goodness. That's, that's amazing, right? But no, let's be stupid about it. The National Affairs got a memo about these cocoons. That memo. That's how you knew about the cocoons. Oh, nice one. Nice one. I'm running scared now. You gotta know about that cocoons. The plan this. Just how well known are these cocoons? I'm embarrassed to admit it. But I never heard of them. Well, Lamoror knew about them, though not their use. My reports indicate that there are ongoing efforts to control information about the cocoons. Most people only know they're illegal to export, that's all. Then I've got nothing to be embarrassed about after all. You could say people like me who know about them are in a are minority, yeah? But it includes everyone in international affairs, man. And everyone in Interpol too, for that matter, yeah. Interpol's all hot and bothered about him. So there are other Interpol agents like Mr. Latouse. Oh, uh, excuse me. All over the world, most likely. Most, most all over the world, most likely. Deep undercover, most of them. That's why these cocoons are hot, too hot for the black market. You don't want Interpol sniffing through your wares. Most came to the conclusion that. They came to the conclusion that what? Can't sell them on the black market. Too dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah, Interpol finds you. They arrest you on the spot. On an, or another marketeer who might think you're part of a string and take you out himself. Times have changed. Yeah, cocoon smuggling ain't exactly lucrative anymore. But wouldn't scarcity drive up prices? Yeah, and attention. Every gangster and his brother would want a piece of that action. They'd turn your forehead into a Swiss cheese before you could say objection. Maybe we could get him to cut his hair too. Who's on trial here again? Man, you're so obvious. No. You so obviously know nothing about the market. And that's a bad thing? Don't even try to mess with me about this stuff. And I'm in international affairs, I know the deal. Which is why you know how to find a loophole in the system. Hey, you can say what you want about me. Back off of international affairs. There ain't no loopholes, okay? What do you think we are, Boy Scouts? That wasn't what I was trying to, um... Down, Dayan, it's as you say. There are no loopholes, at least in the case of these cocoons. International affairs, Interpol and Borginia, the customs are all watching. See, we know what's going, what we're doing. Not like some yipping little doggies that lap up every word that Diva says. Why I oughta... Oughta what? You want, a, you want some of this? Ha <laughs> ha, chill, both of you. Let's do this cool, ya. Yeah. Err. Heck with cool! I want this guy's head on a stick! The REPLICA has to be the key to this motive. There's gotta be a way to find out what he was up to. You wonder about that, actually. International Affairs got a memo about these cocoons and it pulls all hot and bothered about him. Can't sell them on the black market today. <laughs> My god, anyway. Uh, yeah, cocoon smuggling ain't exactly lucrative anymore. Man, I'm an International Affairs, I know the deal. Hmm. Not exactly lucrative. Would prove that? I don't know. Perhaps. Now we have a room from which a remedy for incurators may be extracted. Hmm. I don't know. An article by the Chief Justice on who was inflicted with incurators syndrome first case in country. Huh. Well, I mean, it could be lucrative for that. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna have that as an option actually. Man, I'm an international fair. I don't know the deal. Hmm. Ah! I like his face. <laughs> ah! 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 You're ah, ah. so funny, Mr. Justice. What are you thinking about? What about now? I don't even know about me. <laughs> oh, anyway, though, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm actually good with the newspaper on this one. I hope I'm not wrong. Objection! Sweet. Why not choose a less dangerous buyer then? 
I would. How clueless are you? Everyone in the market's dangerous. The second they found out I was a cop, I could kiss my keister goodbye. Why so to a black market buyer? How about someone like this? That article. That's about the chief justices. A deadly poison can be extracted from the cocoon. But so can a cure. And not a cure for just any disease. A cure for incuritis. Incuritis. I have heard of that somewhere. Are you stupid, Judge? You went to visit a victim of the disease this morning. Aha. Uh -huh. Why, that's the disease that the Chief Justice's son has. You are insane. Our witness is a detective. He would have contact with the Chief Justice. You are saying the Chief Justice would never deal in contraband. Not even to save his own son's life. But even if the deal went through, why it'd be an international scandal? That's Detective Crescent's insurance. If word ever got out, the one with his neck in the line would be the Chief Justice. Dot 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 dot. Detective Crescent, is this true? First I'm a murderer, and now I'm a smuggler. How many crimes are you trying to pin on me anyway? Distasteful as if, as it is to think about. If the chief, chief Justice were the buyer, why a seller couldn't hope for a better deal? A very cowardly seller. Don't let sleeves over there trick you. So I made a deal with the Chief Justice. Where's your proof? Well... Oh yeah, and you're forgetting one other important thing. Do tell. And your pole isn't the only one. Only ones out there watching this. Or getting a customs barely sleeps. They're so worried about cocoons getting out. Hmm. So we were informed. Let's continue with the cross-examination. All right. <laughs> Borgidian Customs is very thorough. Everything and everyone gets checked. I didn't read in his voice. Borgidian Customs is very thorough. Everything and everyone gets checked. I'm sure about that. Just how strict is this customs check? Way strict. They keep planes on the ground for hours. I do recall it's being a bit extreme. There were even confiscating gun drops and marshmallows. Yes. It would be hard to distinguish them. That's right. Gavin was in Borginia, wasn't he? I honestly thought this was actually like a big giant lump or something like that. But maybe, it's, maybe it really is the size of a marshmallow. What do I freaking know? <laughs> That's right. Gavin was in Borginia, wasn't he? I remember setting off the metal detector, uh, setting off the metal detector several times. I had to practically strip him naked to walk through. Here's a travel tip for you, Gavin. Leave the bling at home, you glimmerous fop. I wondered where he got that line from. Hmm. Cocoon possession will get you arrested on the spot and sentenced to, then sentenced to death. Wait a second now. And it pulls all hot and bothered about them. Okay. So wait, he added two things and Huh. Hey man, if there's a way to get coons out of there, I'm sh I'd sure like to know. Oh? Oh? There, wait, there's three things? Where is there? I don't freaking know. Okay, so we're gonna get it checked. This vision will give you rest on the spot and then send to death. I don't, I don't think I've pressed this one already. That's pretty extreme. We're getting ahead of this. This rep is a I I like laid back place. Truth is, they're beyond hardcore with security. The Republic of Borginia is a peaceful, pleasant country. So this level of security shows us how truly concerned they are about these cocoons. A situation. Hey man, if there's a way to get cocoons out of there, I should like to know. You're in a position to know quite a bit about smuggling. Yeah, I need to know a bit for sh for, for work, sure. But all we get are reports on the failed smuggling ops. Not exactly something you want to go copy. What do you want? I can tell you a few of them. Maybe you'll succeed and get rich. I would be interested in hearing. Purely from a legal perspective, of course. I weep for our judicial system. The replica has to be the key to the motive, and I'm gonna find out the answer somehow. I don't really know how yet, but somehow it's gonna happen. Everything and everyone gets checked. Well, I, I present to you Maki, who actually smuggled one out of you somehow. How do, I, how do I prove that? I don't really know how, actually, but... I mean, I can't. I, I just don't know. Like, can I speak into the microphone and be like, Hey, I found out the answer. Hold it! Uh, I'm just kidding. I don't really know. 
this, it doesn't work. This is working, obviously, because, you know, that's part of what I'm saying. That's why I was worried the microphone won't work, because, you know, I might be able to blow fingerprint powder off, but I can't say hold it. It just doesn't work, you know? I, I, I press the magic button that works, and then, no, no, it just, it just doesn't. It, it doesn't, doesn't happen at all. Hold it! I mean, see, th that doesn't work either. I, I can't say it. I can't press my magical button that makes things happen for me. It doesn't work. No, possible. Anyway, the green possession will get you rested on the spot and then send it to death. <laughs> hey, man, there's a way to get Kuz out of here. I'd sure like to know. Well, how do I prove that one was. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. What do I do? Do I present the. Uh, whatchamacallit? Do I present anything? Was it Cocoon mentioned in this newspaper? I don't know. I just don't know, actually. Well, regardless, I don't know whether I can do this or not. I really hope I can, otherwise I'm guilty. And I don't want to be guilty, please. Hey man, if there's a way to get Cocoons out of here, I'd sure like to know. How? How do you get him out of here? How do you? Congratulations, we'll get you rest in the spot. And then sentenced to death. Wait, that's not right. That's not true. It, it's it's bringing it out of the country that will that will get you sentenced to death now. Oh huh, wait a second. Let me review this again. That's pretty extreme. Organia has this rep, and the truth is they're beyond hard to the public. Organia. If you slip that, this level security shows how they're doing about these things. This level, that's the situation. Hmm. But again, though, that's that's not it's not possession. It's just trying to get it out of the country. Right? I mean, where do you even get these cocoons in the first place, man? I mean, obviously they must only grow in Borginia, otherwise, I mean, yeah, they'd be everywhere, right? Okay, so everyone, everything and everyone gets checked. But do they really? I don't know about that. I have some... I I don't know. I honestly don't know the answer to the replica. Objection! No. I, I'm kind of... I'm blanking right now. What do I do? Your Honor, what do you think about the witness's statement? Uh... I'm not sure I follow you. It clearly or contradicts the um I thoughts. You don't sound very sure, Mr. Justice. Objection overruled. I don't think that won me any points to the judge. Oh man. Can't believe it. Well 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 I'm so clueless. Newspaper? Objection! No. <laughs> Ah, uh, Your Honor, the statement contradicts the evidence. Dot, dot, dot. It does. I don't see anything contradictory. Um, you sure about that? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Justice. Act, that didn't go so well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, man. If there's a way to get cocoons out of there, I'd sure like to know. Well, someone did. So would you like to know? I could, I could tell you if I... I had evidence that proved that, but I don't know if I do. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I, 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 I just, I don't know. I don't freaking know! I did! Alright, give me my guilty verdict already. I'm waiting. I'm stretching now. I gotta stretch while I'm being... Ah, gotta stretch while you're being declared guilty, you know, everyone. My gosh. That's kind of, kind of a rule, after all. You don't stretch while you're being declared guilty. And things are gonna go horribly, horribly wrong. I'm gonna have to actually redo that again, aren't I now? I'm gonna go regular trial at high court or the high court is adjourned. Cool. Nice to know that the court was adjourned. Hey court, can you please prove my innocence? I, uh, this court's terrible. We need, a re we need the higher court to really determine if I'm really guilty or not. Also, I'm gonna have to redo all this again, aren't I? Well, uh, yeah, I could do something exactly. This is stupid. Well, regardless, though, I'm, I'm just gonna. I guess I'm just gonna slowly make my way back in here, but. I don't know, everyone. What do you think? I mean. I, again, I'm asking the question, the magic question. Like, what do you think the real answer is? Do you think there is a true answer to our problems here? Or. Do you think, you think you're just bluffing? Maybe. Maybe we're not supposed to beat this case. Maybe this is the, the end. The end of the game, right here. You can't do it. You can't beat the game. The game's impossible, man. I can't believe it. Ah, I don't get it. I just don't get it, everyone. Anyway, though, how's your April so far, everyone? Your April been great. I hope it's been great. It's like what? April? I don't even know what it is right now. I think it's 
I think it's actually April, the April 4th episode. So, yeah, it was already a few days in April now, so that's nice. It's still March when I'm recording this, but you know. <laughs> March 31st, to be exact. Oh boy, I'm sorry. I can't wait to see how you react to National Colette Day episode. Oh boy, that's gonna be. I'm sure that's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh boy, I can see it now. It's gonna. It's gonna be like the most controversial. The most controversial episode I've ever released, probably. Also, probably the most cringeworthy episode I've ever released. I don't really know. Oh boy. Like I said, I can't wait. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, can we continue now? Finally, jeez. Anyway. I might still have to press all this stuff, though, won't I? I don't know. I don't know, everyone. It's a possibility, that's for sure. Hey, man, if there's a way to get coons out of there, I sure would like to know. Oh, I didn't even get to... <laughs> Whoopsie! Of course, I didn't press any of the other stuff, either, but... You know. Yeah, I know. International affairs got a man of ideas. I don't know how I'm out of Well, I just... Ah, did it. I don't know, man. Maybe I should... What I should have done? Maybe I should have pressed all these? And then go gone back to the original ones? I don't know, maybe that would have been one of those weird cases. Could have been! It could have been, I didn't think about checking it though. Well, anyway though, <laughs> now that I've stalled for time, I'm gonna end today's episode. And on the next exciting episode, of course, I will have your answer, because I don't freaking know! I'm- we also, we wasted a lot of time on this too, so you know, I, I'm all about making some progress, of course, but, you know, things have to happen. Things have to happen, everyone! And that's why things will happen on the next exciting episode, where we probably really will finish this case! Maybe. I don't know. I thought there was a chance for this episode, but not quite. Not quite at all. Oh well, next episode is more likely, of course. As we keep going further and further, it gets more and more likely. It's, it's logic, right? I mean, geez, logic is the greatest, of course. See you later!